Hey, so this is an introduction to replicant speedrunning. You're going to get to know some basic tricks we use to move around faster as well as how to make combat more effective. So yeah, let's get started. For game settings, I recommend checking out the general guide. It's in the description. You can find everything there as well as the whole speedrun tech I will be talking about here, but explain in detail and with video examples. The first thing I wanted to explain is ground movement because it's actually pretty simple. So all we do is just roll and then light back. And if you do that repeatedly, which you can get pretty good at, that's the fastest way to move on foot. I say that because ball riding is way quicker overall, but we don't always have access to the ball. That when we do, is the absolute fastest way to move in the game. Uh, we use the bar a lot to traverse between areas. You could think of it as a car. Okay, it's time to jump right into aerial movement, quite literally. Uh, the basics are not actually too complicated. While in the air you've got access to four light attacks, a dash and a double jump. Uh, you can do those in whatever order you want depending on the situation. Here's a little example on the way you could use it. Um, there is way more to aerial movement and movement in general, but I'm not gonna go too in depth in this video. If you wanna know more, I recommend checking out the guide I mentioned earlier. Alright, as for combat, here is a few useful tips you can use to make your life way easier. First off, knocking enemies down is totally OP because you can just finish them off like so. The best way to knock them down is with Darklands magic, but if you don't have that yet, you can also use heavy attacks. Now this is where the real fun begins. <laughs> what you see me doing here is attacking with my weapon and spamming Dark Blast to deal massive amounts of damage. If you combine that with a weapon that boosts your magic power, like Beast Bane or Spear of the Usurper, and apply a magic buff on top of that, enemies literally melt before your eyes. This is super useful to deal huge amounts of damage on bosses because most of the time we can't use finishers on them. There is one more thing I wanted to talk about which is more of a technical aspect really but if you're a PC player I highly recommend downloading the Special K plugin because it makes the game run tremendously better. It also acts as a frame limiter and counter which comes in handy for the speedrun. And that's about everything I wanted to mention. Thank you a lot for watching and I encourage you to visit our community discord server at sponsored by dragonguard.com. Once again, link is in the description. A lot of wholesome people there that would gladly help you if you've got any questions. See you later.